He said, I can take you to the altar, but you can't see it. I said, why can't I see it? Is it buried? He said, no, no, it's not buried, but it has a house built on top of it. I said, who would be crazy enough to build their house on top of a blood sacrifice altar? He said, well, Rockefeller was. <laughs> you know, I just, like, okay, uh, can we go there? And he said, yeah, just a short walk. Come on, man. we've actually, you know, had already walked by it. So he said, uh, I've got the keys. He said, normally nobody can go in. Um, they, the, the, the way these things are set up, they're historical homes now. The state of Georgia owns the park. Uh, they lease out to another group, the hotel, to run. But the houses are maintained on the National Historical Register, and they're part of the state park. So you can't go in any of them without a guided tour or permission, but you can go look in the windows and walk on the porches and walk all around them. And they're, they're set up inside just like they were when they were actually being used in the, back in the 20s. And, and earlier, so uh, we we go over there, and he's got the keys. Though. So we go into the house, and he takes me into the parlor, and he says, "Well, I know you're, you're a praying guy, so you probably would like to have a little time to pray." He said, "You're standing right on top of the altar right now. This is the room that is built on top of it." He said, "I'm just going to go over here and sit down for a few minutes and read the newspaper, and I'll let you pray and do whatever you need to do." The room that they were sitting in when they drew up the the uh, the entire legislation and plan to pass it that became the Federal Reserve Act. So this was the conception of the Federal Reserve Banking System on the parlor, sitting on top of a blood sacrifice altar, where babies were sacrificed. Yes, and. So all of a sudden it's like, wow, no wonder our banking system has so much corruption in it, even when people want to do the right thing. The the idea that it was conceived like this, I'm going, this is not just a bunch of wealthy guys that got away for vacation and came up with a profitable business plan. This has got something diabolical, something occultic about it, something evil that's wrapped up with it. Yeah. And so even if even if it had been a good idea and something beneficial for the country, which many would argue that it was, um, this demonic power must have gotten into it. You know, that's what happens when an altar is not dealt with. That's what happens when God's people do not do spiritual warfare the way he tells us to. Then we all become subject to it because they didn't just, Created bank, they created a banking system that every one of us have, have become subject to. So, so think about this: you've got money that you receive as a ministry, or that you, when you earn, I'm sure you tithe and give offerings. On your right. money is idolatry; it's printed right on your money. 